What's good YouTube? I know it's been a minute, but welcome back to my channel and this is how to install a TP-Link smart switch. So before I get into how to install a smart switch, first and foremost, always make sure you put safety first. So if by any means you do not feel comfortable installing any of this wiring, I highly, highly, highly recommend you hire an electrician and not do this on your own. Nonetheless, we'll get into the wiring and I will show you how to install this TP-Link smart switch. So all the tools you really need for this installation are about four things. You need a flathead, a Phillips screwdriver, a wire stripper, and a voltmeter. So now that you got your tools ready, you know the switch is gonna be in a good Wi-Fi location. The first thing you gotta do is head to your circuit breaker and turn off the switch. So thank you to my 16 year old self. I used to play around with the circuit breakers to figure out which room, which switch covered which room um, so I already have everything pre-labeled but if you do not have that uh, this is like this is pretty vital that you know which br circuit breaker to turn off the safest thing is actually just to turn everything off and if you still do not feel safe this is definitely a point where you would probably want to call an electrician now that you're sure that the power is off you can just take off that faceplate uh, mine is just held up with two flathead screws and it's safe to take off the actual switch out of the wall which is also held up with another two screws and like i said i really need to triple check things because i'm just really cautious when i'm doing these things and use that voltmeter to make sure there's actually really no power running through those wires so now that you've been able to take your switch out of the wall there's two things that you're gonna have to look for the first thing that definitely needs to be there is a neutral wire neutral wires are usually these white wires that are bundled up and tied together with a wire nut. If you do not have these neutral wires, do not install your TP-Link smart switch and I'm afraid you'd have to look somewhere else in your house that do have neutral wires so you can install it there. Uh, the second thing you're looking for is a ground wire. Ground wires are usually green or just copper um, and this is not a necessity, it does So now that you've checked for neutral wires and you've checked for ground wires, you can pretty much get to installing the new switch. Um, so the first thing that I would do is actually connect the white wire to the other neutral wires and you can do this by untwisting the wire nut and then connecting your light switch with the other neutral wires. Then you can connect the ground wire. Um, you would just be essentially doing the same thing as grabbing the ground wire from your light switch and wire nut twisting it with the ground wire on your switch. Now you can connect the live wires. Um, the live wires, in my case, they were actually three, uh, but most people will just have two wires, which would be connected to the screws on the the light switch. So my, the way that my house was set up was this either actually wires to the main floor. Um, and if you do not connect these wires together, there will not be any power connected to the main floor, which is a little odd, but um, nonetheless, you just connect one of the live wires to the live wires on the light switch and the other, other wire to the other live switch. Wow, my English is not working. So after you're done all that wiring, you're pretty much good to go. All you gotta do is put those wires back into the switch box and put the light switch onto the hole. All right, so there's actually two these two oval shapes where um, the screws are already placed in your smart switch, but if your screws fell out, just a reminder, use the ones that are the oval shape because that allows you to attach the light switch towards the wall. And what's really cool about TP-Link is they gave you two options. They have a smooth, modern, like screwless looking faceplate. But in my case, because I wanted to stay consistent with the house, I actually used my old faceplate, um, just that's held up with two flathead screws. And that's what those smaller holes are for the TP-Link smart switch. So you go back and turn your circuit breaker on, and make sure that there's power actually running towards the light switch. And the way that we know this is that once you look at the light switch, there will be a Wi-Fi light that it will be blinking amber and green. If it's not, all you gotta do is press the reset button, hold it for about five seconds, and the lights will start flashing. If it's not, that means we possibly wired something wrong, and I definitely recommend you turn off your circuit breaker um, for safety reasons, and just try and figure out what went wrong with the wiring. If you're seeing it green and amber, that means you're in a good spot. All you gotta do now is make sure you install the TP-Link Casa app. Um, TP-Link Casa app's really well made. It's pretty simple. All you gotta do is press the plus button, pick the light switch, and it'll walk you through the process, making sure that you have the lights on, press next, it'll connect to the light switch, and then that's when you give it a name. And congratulations, you have successfully installed your TP-Link smart switch. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.